How's it going, everyone? Matt Diamond with Kalshi. Today, we're going to be talking about how to trade the event contracts of the FOMC and the Fed decision when it comes to increasing rates or cutting rates. And these are some of the event contracts that we're going to look at and structure some trades around. To the left side of the screen, the Fed funds highest rate, the Fed interest rates, the Federal Reserve rate cut, and the next Fed decision. And we're going to structure these trades a couple different ways. So the first way is if you're doing a little bit of research on your own and you're using some history as far as what the Fed has done up to that next meeting to come up with a decision on whether or not they're going to increase rates or cut rates. And the next way is going to be to use that forecast tool on the back end of Calshi. And how are those forecast numbers calculated? They're a weighted average of the market prices using the example below. If the markets think there's a 30% chance that inflation will be 1%, a 40% chance that inflation will be 2%, and a 30% chance that inflation will be 3%, then the forecast would be the formula below. And we're using inflation just to keep it simple, even though on these specific trades or the event contracts, we're gonna be trading around the Fed decision. But this is just to keep it very simple and straightforward. That formula, 0 0.3 multiplied by one, plus 0 0.4 multiplied by two, plus 0 0.3 multiplied by three. But don't worry, no need to overcomplicate this. Just think of it as the average of the market prices. Now let's use a little bit of the research that we have access to as far as online to figure out what could possibly happen going into the next FOMC event. So this is CNBC, and this is based off the last FOMC event. So it said the Fed holds off on a rate hike, but says two more are coming later this year. So just based on the little bit of information that we have access to, it said that there are going to be continuous hikes. So we can use that information to be able to structure some trades. And we're gonna use one more piece of information before we actually go structure those trades. This is Forbes. Look at the Fed rate hikes from 2022 to 2023. These are the times that they've met and they have been raising consistently. Now let's actually go structure a trade. So the first one that we're gonna do is the Fed funds highest rate. And right now, the current Fed rate is 5.5%. This is just on Google. So we're gonna use that to be able to structure the actual trade itself. So going in to the yes or no contracts below, if we believe that the Fed is going to increase rates the next time that they meet because they have been consistently doing so, and we're just gonna try to play those odds, if it's currently at 5.5 and they raise a little bit, then there is the likelihood that it could be in these upper bounds. So if we think that they are going to increase, which history has shown so, then what we would wanna do is trade the yes contracts at that 5.51% to 5.75, and 5.76 or above. Now let's go look at the event contracts of the Fed interest rates. And what we're gonna do is going back to that article with the belief that the Fed is going to continue to increase rates and they may do it at that next meeting. And right now, the current rate is at that 5.5%. Then what we would wanna do is trade the yes shares on above 5.25% because they're already above that and the 5.5 because that's where they're at right now. And if we believe they're going to be increased from there, then these contracts would have the highest probable outcome. Now to go to the next event contract, the Federal Reserve rate cut. And if you look at this historical data here, they have increased rates a lot. It's been very consistent. So we're gonna use this information to structure that trade there. And if we believe that they're going to continuously raise rates or at least they're not going to cut, then this one's pretty simple what we would wanna do is trade the no contract. And now the next contract that we're gonna look at is the next Fed decision. And let's go back to this chart. So looking at all the times that they have made a rate change, the basis points have usually been 25. And if you look at the last handful, they have consistently been 25. So if we're just gonna use this historical data, if the Fed decides to raise rates again, it would seem that it would be 25 basis points, just based off the information that we have access to. So if we wanna structure a trade around that, we're gonna go back to Calshi, and if they do hike, and we believe that it's gonna be 25 basis points, then what we would wanna do is trade the yes contract on the 25 basis points right here. So those are some simple ways on how to trade the FOMC when it comes to doing some information on your own and then structuring those trades. What we're gonna do now is go through all these contracts again, but we're gonna use the forecast tool on the back end of Calshi. So let's go back to that first one, the Fed funds highest rate, and we're gonna click on the forecast button. And we're simply just gonna use the information from that forecast formula that I talked about earlier in the video to structure very simple trades. So if we're looking at this, it says the 5.2 to 5.5 has a 55% chance. 
And if we just want to put simple trades on that are in our favor, this is how we're going to use that information to structure it. So let's play the odds that are in our favor. So knowing that that 5.26 to 5.5 has a 55% chance, then going back to that, what we would want to do is trade the yes contract on that 5.26% to 5.5%. Pretty simple and straightforward and just playing the probabilities. Now let's go into the next event contract, the Fed interest rates. We're gonna click on that forecast button. If we look at September, it's projected, or at least the forecast is that it's gonna be 5.5%. So a way to take advantage of that information is knowing that it's gonna be above 5.5. A very simple contract to trade is the above 5.2%. And then you can trade that yes contract because if it stays at 5.5, then we know that it's gonna be above that, and the probability weighs heavy in your favor. And now the next contract, so the Federal Reserve rate cut, going to the forecast, very heavily weighted no. So there's a 7% chance that it's yes, and a 93% chance that it's no. So if we're just gonna play these probabilities, we would go back to it, and then we would wanna trade the no shares. Because we believe that it's very unlikely that the Fed is gonna cut rates, and also using that forecast information that's in our favor. And the very last event contract, the next Fed decision, it does not have that forecast button, so we're not gonna use that. But those are some great examples on how to trade these event contracts going into the FOMC when it comes to increasing rates or cutting rates based on some information that you've done on your own and using that forecast tool on the back end of Calshi. So that was it for the video. I appreciate you watching. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.